Tell me about yourself and what are we doing? You want my name? My name is Zach. You've known me for 20 years, Mikey. I rented an RV. I want to find the most extreme haunted house in the world. What is an extreme haunt? I don't understand how far, like how far they, you really can go on without hurting somebody. So congratulations on the film. I Thank thought it was you. such an interesting and terrifying concept. Thank you. Because <laughs> the only way I'm going through a haunted house is if like friends are peer pressuring me and I can latch on to the person in front of me. But I know that most people don't feel that way. They, they want to find the scariest haunted houses. So why do you think people choose to experience that kind of terror? I think it's, it's actually chemically because we looked up that uh, your brain releases the same chemical during sex and during watching a horror film. So that's why those, those yeah, I'm totally serious. So, <laughs> so having uh, sex during a horror film. That would be the no, ultimate yeah, experience. I don't know if we nice. can even say what would happen. <laughs> no, but, but seriously, I think that people go for that thrill ride and, and you get it during you know, love and you get it during, during scary movies and roller coasters too. I mean, yeah. you know, why would you do something that you know when you get to the top of that mountain, you have anxiety and then you're gonna get this rush. And so well, it's not for everybody, but I think it's for a, a lot of people like that. Old 80s movies, that's what the formula was, is because you can't kill 20 people on screen, so you kill, show boobs, kill, show boobs. <laughs> that's what they did the entire time, and it kept people's interest. I thought there was a great quote at the beginning of the movie. You know, it's like, I'm not afraid of werewolves or vampires, but I'm afraid of what real human beings do to other human beings. Right. Mm -hmm. After making this movie, how would you say that statement is true? Very. I mean, that's thematically, that's what we wanted to show. Um, because uh, the possession movies, to me, they're, they're as dime a dozen as a lot of these found footage. I, I'm tired of it. It was already done correctly with The Exorcist. So a lot of this stuff is what actually does happen. Hi, this happens. That we we found out a lot of things that you know there was a, a, a girl out there that, that that hung herself trying to make it look scarier, to make it look real in a haunted house, and the patrons were walking by her thinking she was a scary prop. And these and what the links people go to to maybe scare somebody, that that is very frightening. And um, and I think human beings are a lot more. Um, maybe malicious than, than, than ghosts or, you know. Or watch our, you watch our news these days. That's more yeah. terrifying than, you know, half the horror films out there of what people do to each other. It's ridiculous. And knowing that they kind of have a, I guess, outlet and a place to do it at is, is also the thing that, for me, made it more scary and more real because we're asking people these questions and they're saying this is how they get their anger and their frustration out. And I'm like, wait a minute, yeah. you're telling me that you're taking your anger and frustration out on me and I had nothing to do to you. Yeah. So I think that when you know that that's kind of what happens and, and it actually really does go on, that you're like, you take a minute to yourself and go, okay. And there's no one really policing it, no. you know? There were also a lot of scary scenes, in this movie. at least for me, there were some scenes where I would jump uh, anytime that little doll girl was on. I wasn't happy, but... She's right over your shoulder. <laughs> uh, what is one of the scariest scenes from a movie that you guys have seen so far? Uh, from another movie? Yeah, another movie. Um, to me, I can't walk past the sewer drain without thinking Pennywise, the clown from It, yeah. is in there. I ever see that. If I ever saw like a little boat float by on the street, I would run. That sewers are, are forever messed up for me. For me, the, the girl in the ring crawling out of the TV, I mean, it's like just, whoa, that, that broke that broke a, a comfortability level for me that uh, I just, it, it freaks me out still. I think mine's the same. Right. The girl in the ring. Mm. That's boring. You I think the girl in the bathtub in The Shining. Oh, I'm, wow. it, I still do this when I'm watching it, just, just kind of look down, I'm like, I know it's coming, but it's just, it's so, it's amazing. Like, it definitely gets me every single time. Look what we have here. It's an invitation. This is not a haunt. We're in the middle of nowhere in our RV. Yeah, I know. So we've been wanting one more day. It's Halloween. We go home tomorrow. Hey, wait up! Wait up! 